National Championship Basketball Coach Scott Drew with us. Baylor in Kansas State tomorrow night, 5 o'clock tomorrow, late afternoon. And Coach Drew joins us on 365 Sports. It's great to have you on, Coach. Great to hear from you as well. How, how much are you and the staff just grinding, finding maybe this or that to try to turn the defense or some things around? <laughs> Needless to say, I would not uh, uh, say we've been uh, sleeping a lot. Uh, but the good news is we've had two good days of practice, and uh, we feel like uh, we made major strides uh, from Iowa State to, to TCU. And the one area that uh, uh, transition defense that really cost us against TCU, uh, after two days of working on things, um, hopefully uh, uh, we can put that to bed and uh, we fix that. So we will see starting tomorrow because Kansas State's tremendous in transition. And, and, and at the same time, our taking care of the basketball uh, has to keep getting better. Our turnovers – on the offense, uh, our percentage is way too high. Um, we started out the year top five offense, one of the best turno- uh, low turnover teams in the country. And the turnovers have hurt us. Transition defense hurt us uh, uh, the other day. And defensive rebounding is an area that we'll continue to uh, work to get better at. Now, the flip side, and I know I'm giving you a lot, but the flip side is uh, I thought offensively, especially in the first half, we scored 49 points. We took – high percentage shots, things look a lot better than they did against Iowa State. And that's, that's, that's a plus. Scott, this is the first time, uh, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you've played family, and your policy has always been it's great as long as it would happen in the NCAA tournament because you've never yeah. played your brother or Coach Driscoll, yeah. you know, Grant McCaslin, Paul Mills, none of those guys. And now you have to because it's in a conference. Uh, have you had to approach this one a little bit differently because of that? Because this is, in uh, almost 20 years, the first time you've had to do this? Well, um, it, definitely we know what he's thinking, and he knows what we're thinking, and he, he knows what our calls are, and we know what his play calls are. But I know sometimes people like uh, want to know, like, isn't that fun? Wouldn't it be great? And I'll tell you why it's not. I remember uh, uh, Scott Sutton was at Oral Roberts, and he was playing Sean Sutton at Oklahoma State. And Oral Roberts beats uh, Oklahoma State, and Sean uh, Scott Sutton is crying after the game because he knows that, uh, Sean is just getting killed because they lost. And in sports, it's, 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 it's great, but at our level, it's also a business. And you know, when you lose, there's, you know how the other team feels. They don't sleep. They don't eat. You know, they're, it, it, it's not like people are saying they're doing a great job. So like, you know, like coaches, you don't wish that on other coaches that you love. People that you don't know or know, but you're not family with. I mean, that's the business. That's the job. But I mean, that's that's why. Like, if we win, we're going to be really happy. And I know how Coach Tang's going to feel tomorrow. And I don't want him to feel like that. And I don't want his family to feel like that. Same thing. If he wins tomorrow, he knows how we're going to feel. So anyway, just to explain that for people that are like, <laughs> well, why doesn't it really matter? That that's exactly why. Because uh, when you lose at our level. Like you yeah, don't sleep. Uh, you're 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 miserable trying to figure out what went wrong and how you can fix it. And and I mean, uh, the winning is is awesome, but the losing is really hard. Coach, having said that, and, and taking tomorrow's matchup out of the equation, what's it been like to see the start that he's off to and the excitement he's generating? Well, it, besides when we play, it's been <laughs> awesome because. Uh, uh, First, he's in the Big 12, and you want the Big 12 to do great in non-conference. Second of all, his family, you want him to do uh, 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 a great job as Grant and, and Mills and Driss, and, and and he's done what I thought he would do. Now, a lot of people thought it'd take a couple more years, but they did an amazing job in the transfer portal, getting a, a, um, uh, uh, Noel back for his sixth year has really been key, and he knows about the Big 12 and in two Big 12 games, he's averaging 30 points, 10 assists, five steals. So he's phenomenal. If you got a phenomenal point guard, you're gonna you're gonna have a chance. And then we know Keontae Johnson because we played him when he was at Florida, and he was the SEC preseason Player of the Year before uh, uh, his heart issue and in instance at Florida. But I mean, he's another guy that would be in the NBA if it wasn't for that heart. And then Coach Bang did a great job finding. Uh, um, uh, uh, 
Tomlin, who's a 6'10", great athlete that has only played basketball for a couple of years. And uh, those three guys are, are, are guys that a lot of NBA people are talking about. And uh, you, you have a great coach and great players. You've got a great program. So uh, Coach Bang and his staff have done a remarkable job and uh, so excited for them. Now, that being said, <laughs> tomorrow we it, it, it's in the Pharaoh. we got to take care of business. Mm-hmm. After this, we will be cheering like crazy for him. Scott, what is the protocol tomorrow? I, I I think I saw a quote where Jerome maybe even said that, Coach Tang, and he's going to join us in like in about 30 minutes uh, with that. Have you guys traded text? Have you talked to him? Have you seen him? I, I know they've practiced. What, what's going on with that? Yeah, so they, they've been here for uh, uh, a day and a half, and uh, uh, I'm going to see him before tomorrow. Um, he actually uh, uh, saw my wife and kids. Uh, they ended up eating dinner at the same place, uh, uh, Marissa, uh, Marissa's, uh, the other day. Um, so, uh, they've seen them, but I'll see them. Uh, uh, we've been, we've been locked in and just, uh, uh, trying to put our team in the best position to be successful. So, um, normally, uh, about this time, you've got most of uh, Hayes in the barn. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, I'll, I'll get a chance to see, uh, him at some point. Um, and, I, I, you know what, when, when we announce him, hopefully the crowd gives him a great ovation. He's earned it. Um, and, uh, uh, after that, uh, it's, 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 uh, uh, Baylor basketball and we gotta, we gotta protect the Pharaoh. We gotta, we gotta get a win. And, uh, um, other than that, uh, we'll be cheering like crazy for him. And again, uh, he helped, uh, uh, helped us win a national championship, Mm -hmm. helped us build a program and, uh, our friends, I know, are so appreciative of all that he's poured into uh, uh, Baylor University. So um, uh, I know we'll give him a good welcome uh, when we do call his name. Scott, you mentioned a second ago about the 49 points you scored in the first half and offensively how you, you felt good about the team. Part of your offense uh, has been that you have three really good guards uh, that haven't gotten to play a whole lot of games together all right in a row. Yeah. Um, this will be the second time you'll be able to do that. How long does it normally take after you have those your little patches of injuries here and there to, to feel confident that, that especially three players with similar skill sets that are going to be asked to do similar things find their rhythm together well i think uh um first you know uh uh josh Keontae, langston three freshmen each game in each practice they grow and they get better and that that helps us at the same time the veterans got to get reps uh with them so we can blend uh new with old and i mean chemistry is everything uh i mean you could be take a uh, i know we had what was it waco dancing with stars and if you're, you're trying to win that competition, you got to practice with your partner. You don't practice with your partner. You can both be great dancers, dancers, but if you're doing one step, they're doing the other step. You ain't winning. So uh, at the end of the day, the best, avail- best ability is availability and getting guys to where we can stay healthy now, to where we can get some chemistry, get some rhythm. Um, that that's going to be critical. And 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 you know what? Again, let's let's give the Big Twelve credit. I mean. Everyone I saw the last was top 45 in the net. I mean, you're looking at all NCAA tournament teams. I mean, take TCU, for instance, 93% of their scoring return. Last year, they should have beaten Arizona and been in the Sweet 16, and they come back. So, I mean, that's a, and they, they, the one game they lost, they didn't have their two guards, so they'd be undefeated. So, like, we are playing really good teams. And sometimes uh, uh, you can play well and not win. And, that's that's the great thing about sports. You win one by you win a game by one point, and everything is hunky dory. You lose by one point, and the world's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, it is, Scott. Well, I want to compliment you on the last play. I know it didn't work because of a great block, but you dialed that play up to Keontae. It worked perfectly, except the fact, of course, the defensive TCU was there. How many options do you have that you have to decide in a short amount of time that you're going to use in that moment? Uh, probably four. And, um, I, th- I thought, uh, you look at it, uh, uh, Mike hits a huge three, uh, over Josh oh, yeah. and Josh is great defense. Uh, O'Bannon hits a huge jump shot, uh, and, uh, over three guys. Um, one key went by and the other two contested it. And then we missed the layup. So normally you would say you're going to make the layup, miss the three or miss the tough two. Um, but they made a great play at the rim to block it. And uh, uh, I thought we executed uh, uh, great down the stretch. Uh, Caleb made a great pass. Josh, a great catch. 
and then they executed the uh, uh, the play well. But um, at the end of the day, we, we know uh, why we lost that game, and mm-hmm. hopefully uh, uh, we can fix uh, uh, the turnovers, transition defense, and uh, um, improve defensive rebounding. And then you're not in a one-possession game because a one-possession game, anything can happen, as we all know. Scott, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Hey, hey, I need you to keep Tang on the phone for like five hours. Just wear <laughs> him down. I think they're coming to practice. Um, ask him everything. So, but uh, uh, Baylor fans, when when we when when they do announce uh, Coach Tang, um, I know uh, I'm going to be clapping for oh. him. So after that, you don't have to clap for him anymore. All right, but uh, we announce him. We'll clap. All right, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep him up late. We will absolutely do that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time as always. Great to have Scott hey, Drew. Baylor with the the home game tomorrow afternoon at 5 against K-State.